What's up, everybody? I'm here to tell you, today to tell you guys what's better between Sony Vegas and Camtasia Studio 8. First off, I would I would like I would like to say that I've used both Sony Vegas and Camtasia Studio many times, and I would like to say that Camtasia Studio, in my opinion, is a lot better. Not a lot better, but it is better than Sony Vegas Pro. And that's because it's a lot more, it's a lot simpler to use, in my opinion. Again, for example, you, everything you need right here, this is a Call of Duty gameplay that I had earlier today. Everything you need right here, though, is everything you need to make a video is right here. Well, the, at least the main necessities and the essentials to making the video you need right, you have right here. You have the split tool, you have the cut, you have the copy, as well as the undo and redo, and everything you, everything else for enhancing the video is up here for example in the library they give you free music to use whenever you need music to, uh, to add to your video if you don't have any but you go easily down some and to import it and import the music to your let to uh, Camtasia all you do is just go to import media and then you go to your desktop documents or wherever you keep the music and you import it probably in the music folder though. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how Camtasia Studio works, just and also I'll try to prove my point on why it is a better editing software. So first off, you have audio, and when you go to audio, it just allows you to edit the audio. You could also just click left click, and then you could click on edit audio right here. Either way, it doesn't matter. But when you go to edit audio, you have a whole bunch of other whole bunch of options. Like you can add it to li asset li add asset to the library. You can change the clip speed. Now, when you change the clip speed, this is the only thing, or one of the only things, in my opinion, that, that Sony Vegas has over Camtasia Studio, where if you change the clip speed, you can only change it up to 400 and, and down to 50. Changing it down to 50 isn't that slow, so I wish if you were on Sony Vegas, you'd be able to change it down to lower than 50. So that's one advantage it has. Another advantage is that it looks a lot better when you're changing s speeds. So when you're changing your speed on the on your e with your editing software, I would recommend that if you do that a lot, you would choose Sony Vegas Pro because it's a lot easier and it's a lot smoother to change the speed on there. I'll show you what it looks like if you change the speed up to 400, and that's the highest you can go for the speed as well. So when you change the speed, uh, it also gets really, really laggy, and up to like 150 is when it doesn't get as laggy. I'll show you guys what it looks like if it's 150, but up to after 150, it gets kind of laggy and glitchy, and that that's one of the only bad things that it has that this editing software really has. As you guys can see, it's a little bit laggy, but it's not extremely laggy, and when it's at 100, and when you're editing the video, it's not laggy at all. So, whenever, and also when it's below 100, it's not laggy either, but that's one of the only advantages that Sony Vegas has. When you go to zoom in and zoom out panel, you can uh, zoom in to wherever you want, whatever spot you want, then you can relocate it to like the gun, or you can relocate it to wherever you want to on the screen. And I usually don't use that often, but if you were to use it, if you were to use it, uh, it's really easy to find and it's really easy to use as well, and the video still looks nice. Right here is callouts, and with callouts, you can really just add a speech callout, or you can change, a, get a, add a subtitle so you can show what you're saying in the video what, while you're talking. And then when you're in the library, like I said before, you have a lot of uh, different music, different themes, and that's basically the main essentials to uh, Camtasia Studio. Sony Vegas has a little bit more to offer, but every, everything, that that's a lot of extra stuff. Everything you need is on Camtasia Studio, which uh, makes it, in my opinion, a lot better of an editing software, as well as it's a, it's a little bit cheaper. And also, if you go to Tools, you can uh, have all these options, like you can record your voice, you can record the screen, screen record PowerPoint, and you can go to Audio, Visuals, Properties, and uh, you can go to the Studio Tools, Speech, which is kind of like a call out. And all of, all of that type of stuff is all under tools, and every, they give you options for practically everything that you need in Camtasia Studio. So there's really nothing you need to nothing to ask for that nothing more to ask for if you're using Camtasia Studio. But if you're in Sony Vegas, you do have a little bit more options. But overall, I would give like Sony Vegas uh, 8.5, and I would give like Camtasia uh, like a nine or 9.5. 
And if you guys want me to talk about what I think of Sony Vegas and do this from a Sony Vegas perspective, then go ahead and leave, leave some likes and comment down below saying that. And also, if you guys want me to show you how you can get both of these for free, then you go once I get 40 likes, I'll be able to do that for you guys and show you guys how to get both the editing software for free. But I just want to show you guys that right now so you guys can know which one's better and which one I use. Thank you guys for watching and listening, though. I'm out. Have a nice fucking day.